I think traveling is an amazing experience for anyone, but traveling alone, it can be a unique experience. And would you do it? Many people wouldn't do it, but I'm here to tell you, one, you should go on a cruise, but two, you should go on a cruise alone. Today is day 11 of my 13 day cruise alone on board the Norwegian getaway. Today, I'm gonna to tell you my tips and tricks, and I'm gonna tell you how I saved money traveling with Norwegian alone. slightly overcast day today but like I said this cruise is 13 days today is day 11 it's another sea day so far this cruise we've been to Spain Portugal France and we have five sea days in a row before we get to New York City it's 10 a.m. so it's breakfast time I'm heading to the buffet right now and let me show you what it's like on a sea day cruising alone delicious breakfast as always and being a solo traveler it's actually easier to get a seat because of course I'm only looking for one whereas if you're a couple or a family you need a bigger area but nope there's always a seat for me I'm heading downstairs to the atrium right now on deck six because there's always something going on I feel like the reputation of cruising has changed because it used to just be for older people but now it's definitely not so many families love cruising so many young people love cruising they have cruises just for young people so don't rule out cruising here are two of the main dining rooms here is savor and here is taste and I've been asked many times how does seating work for dining because of course I'm by myself but I'm gonna explain later because Norwegian does things differently than all the other cruise lines Later today, I'm going to show you my cabin and I'm going to tell you why Norwegian does it better than most of the other cruise lines. And I'm also going to tell you how much I paid for this 13 day cruise from Southampton in England to New York City. You'll be surprised. Salisbury steak. You could get a nice hot meat. Make some friends. There's a movie going on in the theater right now. Tonight is Million Dollar Quartet. It's an amazing show. It's about Elvis. Um, Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, and Cole Perkins. I watched the same show last night. So good that I'm going to watch it again tonight. All right, you're going to take a seat on one of these chairs, and there's going to be questions that come up on the screen. Oh, sweet It's currently 2 p.m. and I'm gonna have lunch. Most people go to the buffet for lunch, but you can actually go to the dining room for lunch. So I'm gonna go to one of the dining rooms right now. Or maybe I can't. Looks like the dining rooms are closed for lunch. No idea why, because they're usually open, so we're going to the buffet.
flights are still open. Let's see if the pool's open. It wasn't open the whole day yesterday. Pool still closed, very windy out there. This is of course the gym. I came here the first day and it was so, so, so busy so I never came back. I did have a massage here a few days ago. It was amazing, so good. So I'm on deck 12 forward and here's the kids club. But look what I just saw. I found a little captain duck, it was a pirate duck. If you don't know, like this is like a thing on cruises, people bring ducks and then hide them around the ship for other people to find. This is another place I haven't been, the ice bar. So you need to wear the big coats because it's freezing inside. There's always trivias every day, but I haven't done any, I haven't played any of them, I've watched a lot. But today is flag, so I think I'm gonna play because I'm good at flag. And I won! I can't believe I won. I got 18 out of 20. And it's annoying because I had the correct answer for one of them, but then I changed it. I had I had Kenya, but then I changed it to Malawi, and the correct answer was Kenya. And I knew the other answer as well, but I didn't know how to spell it. So that's why I only got 18, but I won! Whoa, that was windy, let's do it again. Whoa! Very windy today. So the time is currently 4 p.m. And I'll be honest, this is the kind of time where I don't like being by myself because there's not much going on. Um, everyone's pretty much getting ready for dinner. There's a few activities still going on, but yeah, this is the quiet time in between lunch and dinner where there's not much going on. So this is where I don't like being by myself. I found some shade. But talking about being by myself, this cruise has been so much fun. Even though I've been by myself, and I know a lot of people wouldn't have done it. A lot of people don't even like going to dinner by themselves, let alone traveling by themselves. But it's been really fun. Of course, I'm not the only one that's traveling solo on this cruise. There's actually a lot of people um, traveling by themselves. So I've had a lot of opportunity to meet other people. I've spoken to a lot of people, very, very, very nice people. When I found this cruise that I was thinking about should I book it or should I not book it and I just thought to myself going alone is better than not going at all and I'm so glad that I came it was it's been a lot of fun like I said it's been so relaxing and there's been no pressure to do anything that I don't want to do because of course I choose what I do when I when I do it if I don't want to do something then I don't do something there's been a lot of times where in the afternoon I just went back to my cabin and slept for an hour or two hours or um, like in the port days, I went out for a few hours and then came back. If you're with a group of people, you're with your family or whatever, then you need to make a decision and talk about it, but I want to do this and this and whatever, you know. So in that aspect, I really enjoy being by myself because I do whatever I want. You're going to see it tonight, but something Norwegian does, it's called freestyle dining, which basically means you eat whenever you want. And it sounds strange, but other cruise lines don't do that. Most cruise lines, they have a set dining time. So for example, 6.30 and 8.30, and you choose a time you go. So you have to go at 6.30 or 8.30 because that's what time they start serving dinner. But here, if I wanna eat dinner at 9 p.m., I can do that. If I wanna eat dinner at 6 p.m., I can do that. One of the advantages to being alone is I've never, ever, ever had a problem getting a table. And there are specialty restaurants on board, and then there's the main dining rooms. There's three main dining rooms on board. But you need a reservation. Well, I say you need a reservation for all of them but I haven't needed a reservation for any of them. Because I've been alone, it's very easy to find one seat. And if you have five people, of course, you need to wait. You need to make sure there's a table big enough and it's, you can't get a table immediately for five people. It's the same with the shows, to be honest. Like, 
the amount of times that people leave one seat in between someone else because they don't want to sit next to someone else, that's my seat. You know, that's the seat I take. So there's always, even right down the front, I can always get a seat wherever I want when I want to watch the shows because people leave empty seats and that's for me. It's definitely great being alone because I feel more free. You know, if I want to go into a show last minute, I know I can get a seat. If I want to go to dinner at any time, I know I can get a table because I only need to find one seat. So how about the negative? So like I was just saying, this time in between lunch and dinner, this is kind of, not the boring time, but this is the time I wish I was with someone because there's people are literally just sitting around drinking and eating and you can only do that for so long. And like I said, I've been on board for 11 days, but what would I do if I was with someone? You know, I think I would still do the same thing. You know, like I said, most afternoons I go back to my cabin and relax for a few hours because there's not much going on on the ship that I want to do. You know, there's plenty of trivias and there's a lot of seminars and um, so there's a lot going on. But a lot of times I just skip it and just go to my cabin. Talking of cabins, Norwegian also does something that most cruise lines don't do. They have specialized cabins for solo travelers like me. And should I just show you? Let's go to my cabin and let me show you. Actually, before we go, let me do this one more time. Here we go. Let's go. So we're gonna go down to deck 11. That's where my cabin is and that's where the special cabins are. So here on deck 11, you can find the studios. These are all studio cabins and these are all designed for one person. Here is my cabin, 11535. So welcome to my studio cabin. So I'm not gonna do a full tour today, I'm just gonna show you quickly. There's a video coming up very soon where I tell you everything about the studio cabins. But as you can see, it's pretty, it's not small, I was gonna say it's pretty snug, but it's not, it's definitely enough space for one person let's see storage we have one wardrobe we have storage up here we have another wardrobe here there's more storage here shelves here plenty of storage here suitcase under the bed more storage here full-length mirror bathroom and shower that is everything you need for yourself on a cruise ship. So I think this cabin is absolutely perfect for one person, absolutely perfect. There's nothing here that you don't need. You have enough space for yourself. It's around a hundred square feet. So it's not massive. I can almost touch both sides, but it's enough. So now let's talk about the price. How much did I pay for this 13 day cruise on board the Norwegian getaway? So the cruise started in Southampton, England. We went to one port in France, two in Spain, two in Portugal. We left the Azores Island, which is part of Portugal a few days ago. And then we have five sea days in a row before we get to New York City. Overall, 13 days. Another detail, I don't have the drinks package and I don't have the Wi-Fi package. These are the two packages that most people buy when they get on board. I'm not a drinker, so there's no point in me getting the drinks package. And the Wi-Fi, I don't need it. I'm, I'm actually very, very happy that I didn't get it because it feels so good to not be on social media every day. But of course, if you're a drinker, that's gonna put your price up. And if you need the internet, that's completely fine. You know, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people working on their laptops while they've been on board. And if you need it, that's cool. Luckily, I don't need it. So the overall price I paid for this cruise for one person, 13 days, is $511. $511 for 13 days. That works out at about $39 per day. You can't get a hotel for that anywhere. Plus here, I'm getting food, I'm getting the room, I'm getting entertainment, of course I'm traveling, $39 per day. The reason I think these studios are so great is because most rooms are designed for two people, right? Of course they have family rooms, but they don't design rooms for one person usually. And if I went on another cruise line and I sailed alone, they would charge me for two people because I'm taking the space of two people, but here I'm not because this is a room designed for one person. I did read recently that some other cruise lines are starting to do this because a lot of people do travel by themselves and you'll be surprised how many people cruise by themselves. So I think it's great that they're starting to cater more for solo travelers. And I did look at other cruise lines and they wanted to charge me twice because of course I'm taking the space of two people but I was traveling alone and if they sold it to two people 
instead of one, of course they would make twice as much money. So it just, it just doesn't make sense for me to pay for two people when I'm one. This only applies for these studio cabins. If I had a balcony cabin or I had a bigger room, they would charge me for two people because I'm taking the space of two people. But if you have the studio cabin, this is a space for one person. So they're gonna charge you for one. It's, I'm trying to explain it, but it's a big deal. It really is a big deal because if I traveled by myself on another cruise line, I'd have to pay double. So like I've already said, I'm more than happy to be by myself, eat dinner by myself, um, travel by myself, but a lot of people don't like that. They like traveling by themselves, but they like to meet people. So how do you do that? There's so many ways to meet people. Like the game show I just played, the trivia I just played, you just start talking to the people next to me. We're gonna talk about dinner later because there's something a little bit different you can do at dinner. But like I said, you just walk around the ship and you start meeting people because everybody's on vacation, everybody's on holiday. So it's very informal situation, you know, and people expect other people to talk to them. You know, so many times I've sat down to dinner, I've just sat around the pool or I've been anywhere really and I've just started to talk to people and that's how you make friends. One other great thing that Norwegian does is inside the Freestyle Daily, this is the daily schedule. You can see that at 5 p.m. Solo Travelers Gathering. So this is a meet and greet for solo travelers. And I went there and there's a lot of people there. There's a lot of people traveling by themselves. So that's the time for all of the, not single people, all of the people traveling by themselves to go there and meet other people traveling by themselves. Another great thing about the studios is, let me go show you, it's down the hall. That was a studio lounge and you need to be staying in the studio to go to the lounge which is great because they know that everybody in there is a solo traveler so it's another great way to meet people i don't want to make people uncomfortable by talking so i'll come back to my cabin but i think it's really cool and i go there every single day because they have tea and coffee uh, cookies and there's always people there which is great if you want to have a coffee and chat with people a lot of people go there in the morning have morning tea or um, I go there just before I go to bed. I have tea before I go to bed and there's always people there talking. So the time now is 4.45. And what did I say at five? It's the Solo Travelers Gathering. So let's go to the Bliss Lounge. So there you go, that was the Solo Travelers Gathering. And it's every single day, it's been in the schedule every day at 5 p.m. in the Bliss Lounge. And that's another great way to meet people. I just spoke to so many new people that I've never seen before on this cruise. And like I said, everybody is a solo traveler as well. I got invited to dinner and they're making plans to do other stuff. So like I said, even if you come on the ship alone, if you want to stay alone, that's completely fine. But if you don't, there's so many ways to meet people. I'm back in my cabin now. The show starts in one hour. So I'm going to relax, get changed and get ready for tonight. Day 11, we are ready to go. Tonight's outfit. We got black and white Nikes, gray tracksuit bottoms and the black chocolate t-shirt. Let's go. Decided to go with a casual look tonight, but it's 6.45 now, we're heading straight to the theater because the Million Dollar Quartet show is gonna start at seven. It's unbelievable. I watched it last night and I just had to watch it again. Luckily, there were still reservations, but like I said, it's about Elvis, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lee Lewis. Listen to the wind. wind is howling. That show is absolutely unreal, like beyond amazing. If you're ever, ever, ever on a ship and they have that show, go and see it. If you don't do anything else, go and see that show. It's amazing. Elvis is my favorite. 
There's a comedy show going on, it's so funny, but I gotta eat, it's 9 o'clock. Man, this cruise has been so much fun, but that show, Million Dollar Quartet, it makes me so happy. That's the happiest I've been since I've been on this ship. I actually don't know how late I can sit down and eat. Like I said, it's 9 o'clock now, and I don't know if that's too late. There are other options, but I want to go to the dining room. I'm gonna head to Tropicana, hopefully I can get a table now. Amazing dinner as always. The ship is so rocky tonight. So when you have dinner alone, you have the choice. Like they will literally ask you. They say, do you want to sit by yourself or do you want to sit with other people? And then that's up to you. You make a choice if you want to sit alone or you want to sit with strangers. This is another good thing with Norwegian because it's freestyle. I think that if you had a set dining time, so 6.30 and 9.30 for example, you would have to sit with other people. Like you would have no choice. But here, you can, if you want to sit with people and make friends, then you can. If you want to sit alone, then you can. It's midnight, but before I go to bed, I can show you the studio lounge. So we have some seating upstairs. No one's here right now. More seating here, two TVs, we have cookies and pound cake, water, lemonade, coffee machine, tea bags here. We have wine over here and there is a bartender here from five to seven. So like I said earlier, this space is only for people staying in studio, so solo travelers. So there you go, that was a day as a solo traveler on a cruise ship. What do you think? Would you take a cruise by yourself? And what do you think about the price? $40 per night for this cruise. I think it's an amazing price. It's been so much fun, but it's not over yet. I still have a few more days. So if you want to see more, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.